is your hair, girl. It is your hair at the end of the day, and you call the shots. Hello and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Ebony and I talk about locks and a little bit of lifestyle stuff. But today we are specifically talking about locks and the six things I wish I knew before starting my lock journey. Okay, so this month, January 2023, I hit one year locked and I told myself I would make this video. It sounds negative, like things I wish I knew, ooh, but it's really not. It's meant to be encouraging actually because I had a lot of things that were hangups before getting locks. I was like, ooh, I don't know about this. I don't know about that. And actually now that I've been one year into the process, I feel like I have a good grasp on some things and some of the things weren't even issues things that i thought would be hangups and issues weren't even issues so if you're in a place of being like oh i'm nervous i don't know if i should get locks yet maybe you're one month in and you're like these do not look like how i thought that they would look what the hell maybe you're even three months in and you're feeling like that this is the place for you let's get into it okay y'all i got my computer here okay i took notes to to write all this stuff down so okay so the number one thing that I thought would be a big hang up for me is the thought of missing your loose natural hair. I thought that I would miss my loose natural hair. It was just like a big permanent, like locks are such a permanent thing that I just wouldn't be able to pull the trigger because I would miss having a fro or having, you know, braid outs or twist outs and things like that. Um, so much so that like one of my friends um had a bet where she was like you want locks girl i bet that you're not even gonna make it one year because you like to do so much different stuff with your loose natural hair and i realized that that me missing my hair wasn't really anything that was on me like how i felt about it, it was like people putting that on me um and kind of like discouraging me of course i don't think that, that was their goal to discourage me but it's like I actually it's not an issue for me <laughs> you know I think the reason why I changed my hair so much is that I wanted my hair to look put together and so I was always trying to find styles and different things to do um, to make sure that my hair looked put together with like minimal effort and locks literally answer that question for me right how can I put in minimal effort and still look put together locks literally so yeah I don't miss those things I don't miss those styles of course me as loose natural i loved my hair like let me not even get that wrong because i didn't feel like oh my gosh i have to lock my hair because i don't know what the hell to do with it however um it is like just a different i i don't miss i don't miss having loose natural hair at the moment okay so um the second one kind of goes hand in hand with this it's individuality the thought of do you think like me having locks would mean that i'm not able to express my individuality as much as i did with loose natural hair and that's false because i i mean i hope you guys see on my channel all the styles that i do all the colors the beads and things like that that let me express my creativity and my individuality actually way more than i did before as a loose natural um it's really great and also locks are so versatile like and i hope people know that like through the videos that i make the short locks are versatile too because i think it can get very easy to be like well i don't have super long hair like how will things look and it doesn't matter like short locks long locks whatever they are very versatile and you can make them however you want to make them. Um, I think the one thing I would say is I know a lot of people always ask like, how many locks do you have? How many locks do you have? And on the one hand, that is kind of helpful to get a general like, these are the size that I want. Um, but size is relative depending on your hair. So I just always take that with like, take you know how many locks I have with a grain of salt I have about like 71 but I did start off with 77 so some of them needed to be combined and stuff like that so yeah I would just say take that with a little grain of salt but you can make locks your own and that, that's the beauty of it right like nobody's locks no two locks are exactly the same um so yeah that's number two being able to express your individuality um number three y'all it's a big one this is a big one the ugly face is not real it's not real y'all it's not real 
it's only real if you want it to be i think like first of all i know i said this in another video before i don't claim nothing ugly all right i don't um there were times when my hair was not cooperating and it was not doing what i wanted it to do okay but for the most part like every phase of the journey was beautiful i guess it taught me a lot about like how your body your hair you know an extension of you like it changes and it grows and, and evolves so i just don't think that that's ugly one of the biggest things that helps me through the phase when my hair kind of wasn't cooperating um and wasn't looking exactly how i wanted it to look was i did braid outs and that was amazing like it looked great you know what i mean so just taking um some time to like get to know your hair and then be like okay um this is what it's looking like right now this is what i need to do in order for it to look like how i want it to look or work within what it's doing you know like i guess how do i evolve with it and not be so stuck and wanting it to look one way that i that i can't even like embrace the journey and embrace how it's changing i think that's the big thing i think when people have like their ugly phase it's really because you want it to go somewhere you want it to do something and it's not doing it and instead you should say you should look at your hair and be like okay this is what's happening this is how it's growing this is how it's changing how can i move with it how can i embrace that you know um and i think that that's freeing yeah so i just don't think the ugly phase is is real like that um and there's so many things that you can do with your hair still without feeling like this is so ugly <laughs> number four is less is really more y'all like if i knew i mean i guess i knew this but i didn't have like i didn't understand just how deep this is but like i really went from using a million products okay a million products spending so much time like i would detangle i would wash and mind you so much time is relative because this was just normal for me it was normal for me to spend this much time washing detangling doing whatever style um prepping it the night before maybe not going out because my hair needed to you know needed the, the twist needed to dry so sorry i'm in for the night like that was normal to me to go from that and then cold turkey not doing any of that anymore is just so crazy to me like the i spend so much less time on my hair like it is just crazy to think i'm like what do i even do with that time i don't know watch another show watch some more tv i cook a meal like i don't know what i'm doing with this extra time but it's just crazy it is crazy how little time i spend and also how little product i spend y'all know i just use water in that dang moisturizing spray bottle and scalp oil that's it like i just can't <laughs> it's just so funny to think about because y'all know okay as black girls as natural girls it's just not ever something we discuss only having like three products like what spending 30 minutes at most you know like what like do i even spend 30 minutes what the hell i get this style in like two minutes so yeah i don't even that's even a stretch y'all less is more you will feel like i don't know i still feel like flabbergasted about this like where what the heck was i doing with all this time what yeah less is so much more okay this one number five kind of works hand in hand with number four and it's about like the freedom and just how freeing having locks is having locks Y'all know what I'm talking about. Which article do I use? Whatever. Yeah, the locks are freeing. Okay. Um, going back to like how how little products I use and how much how less time I use, like it really gives like a sense of freedom knowing that you feel good, you look good, and you're able to just pick up and go. Like that is just so freaking freeing. Like not even just physical time but i think like the mental capacity like i spent a lot of mental like thought processing like all of this for hair like there was a chunk of my brain that is just section for hair conversation like okay um i'm getting braids this month 
next month, you know, in a month and a half, you know, I'm going to go into another style, right? I need another protective style. Hmm, what should it be? Okay, now I got to find a stylist for this. Like, I was finding a million different stylists for different styles that I wanted. Going through that process of finding someone, this person is not professional. This person is a mess. This person was good, but the price was crazy, you know? Just the, all this mental space that I had just for hair, hair appointments, hair doing, hair taking down, redoing, like, y'all, this is just a lot, like, you know? And it's just so freeing to know, okay, this is what I have. These are the things that I can do with it. Um, and I have this stylist or I can do it myself. You know what I mean? And then just work it around your schedule. Like it is so freeing, just feeling good when you wake up, feeling put together when you wake up and go to bed. You know what I mean? Being able to roll out of bed, roll into bed, just throw a bonnet on and call it a day. Like that is a freaking freak. Go into a pool, going out. Like I was two months into my life journey, I think. And me and my friends took a trip to um, Puerto Vallarta. And I was really nervous because I was like, look, my hair is just now even getting locked. I, I don't think that I should, um, you know, get too wet, like let my hair get too wet or whatever. And um, I tried to do a good job of that. But I mean, life happens, you know, we're having fun. We're in the water. We're at, we're at the beach or whatever. And my hair did get wet. Y'all, it took five seconds to rinse out that water retwist it a little bit put a bobby pin on the ones that were unraveling it just was so easy you know whereas like before it's like under no circumstances do you get your hair wet your whole thing is ruined the whole time is ruined because you dunked your head in like omg you know and yeah you just don't have to think about that stuff anymore uh like that and it's not a tangible thing but it's such a nice feeling feeling free Ain't no feeling like being free. Who knows that song? Put it in the comments below. Okay, okay and my last one, number six. Um, it might be controversial to some of the lock purists out there, okay? But I'ma say it. I'ma still say it. Locks don't have to be forever, okay? They don't have to be forever. And I think if you are somebody that is like, I don't know if I should do this. It just feels so permanent. Like, what do I do? I just don't know. But I've always thought about it and I've always wanted it. I want you to know that it's not its not forever. It doesn't have to be if you don't want it to be. It doesn't have to be a spiritual experience if you don't want it to be. It's not spiritual for me. You know what I mean? It's a hairstyle. So um, I really... I just really want people to know. I mean, you guys have seen videos. People are combing out their locks after three years, after five years, after whatever. You can do the same thing, you know, as long as you um are taking care of your hair, you know, and you know that it's going to take a long time, okay? It's going to take some time. It's going to take some effort. However, you can do that, you know? And even if you don't, you know, comb them out and you want to just shave your whole head off, you can do that. Like, y'all know before I got locks, I spent a good few years with no hair and I loved it. That was super freeing. And I honestly, I recommend everybody do that. Um, but it doesn't have to be this permanent huge behemoth like spiritual situation that you just never let go of no you can always change your thing up you can always change your mind nothing is forever like i i would just say don't take it too seriously i feel like some people you start a new like it's a journey and then it just becomes this like big serious thing and you guys have to do everything right and it's like no lock extensions be pure you know get get you know start like this and then do that and then do that and it's just like a lot like it just seems like okay this seems like a lot is going on it really doesn't have to be that okay it could be chill you know we don't have to debate about calling it locks versus dreads or whatever like it could just be whatever you want your journey to be you do not need to be tied to doing it how someone else is doing it how i'm saying to do it on my youtube channel you know because i have a platform it is your hair girl it is your hair at the end of the day and you call the shots you call the shots so maybe sit number six isn't even like it doesn't have to be permanent but the thing to take away is that you are the master 
of your hair okay and so your journey doesn't need to look like anybody else's that's all i want to say because i feel like um i'll watch videos and stuff like that and it's just like a lot of discourse sometimes and people are like oh this isn't real like the way that you didn't isn't real and this person did it isn't right and da 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 it is your hair girl okay it doesn't matter what it, what somebody thinks is right or wrong or whatever it's that's dumb anyway it is your journey okay so if you want locks for a good three and a half years and you're done be done you know what i mean be done like it shouldn't really be that serious so yes those are my six things you guys just like a nice little fun chit chat you know nothing too crazy but if you are somebody that is saying like oh i really want this but i just don't know these all these things really helped me take some of the pressure off and after going through through the process i realized like dang i really could have done this back in 2019 i could have done this years earlier because it is so great like i love having locks so yeah um let me know if you are in your lock journey what is something that you wish you knew um let me know in the comments below if you are thinking about getting locks talk to me girl let's talk about it okay i love to have conversations with you guys in there in the comments so yeah okay keep me updated on you guys' lock journeys and enjoy your weekend